What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a breaking news story and it looks like we have a bit of an idea of what the ATP calendar is going to look like for January, February, March and into April where it kind of goes back to normal. So we're finally getting some uh, some details coming through. Let's go through it now and sh I'll show you what tournaments have been cancelled, postponed and what tournaments are going to be played in January. Okay, so the first tournaments that have been cancelled, Auckland, that got cancelled, I think, in October, so a couple of months ago. Uh, the Poon Open, which is in India, and usually played in February, that has been cancelled. The New York Open, also in February, that has been cancelled. And the Rio Open, an ATP 500 event, that's been cancelled as well. That is on, uh, on the clay courts in February. And Indian Wells, which is happening in March, that's been postponed. Now, we thought it was cancelled, a lot of people thought it was cancelled, but it's been pushed, possibly, in September or October. So the ATP is going to get started in January, on the 4th of January, with the Delray Beach Open, which is usually played in February after the Australian Open this year. It's going to be played before the Australian Open, it's an ATP 250 event, and also the Antala Open, which is a Turkish event, usually played in June on grass, is now going to be played in January on a hard court. It's an ATB 250 event as well. So both those tournaments are going to be played from the 4th of January, finishing up around the 11th or 12th of January. All right, so moving on to February. February the 1st, the ATP Cup are going to try and squeeze in before the Australian Open. It's going to be a smaller event, less teams, less days to play. And also Adelaide, which is going to be played... Uh, which has been moved, sorry, from January all the way to February, just before the Australian Open, as it would have been played if we had a normal calendar. Both of these tournaments, by the way, ATP Cup and Adelaide, are going to be played in Melbourne. Then, of course, we've got the Australian Open, which is going from the 8th until the 21st of February, moved from January, of course. Then on the 22nd of February, we have the Open Sud de France, which is usually played at the start of February. That's been pushed back to the end of February, as too has the Cadoba Open, which is a clay court event, which is usually also played at the start of February. That's been pushed to the end of February. And also a tournament that hasn't been announced yet, the, an ATP 250 event that has not been announced. So keep an eye on that. Now we move on to March, which is usually where we have Indian Wells. And we, of course, know that Indian Wells has been cancelled slash postponed, possibly towards the end of the year. We get on the 1st of March, the Rotterdam Open, which is an ATP 500 event. That's been moved from February into March. We've got the Argentina Open, another ATP 250 event on the clay courts that used to be played in February, going to be played in March. And also another tournament that is yet to be decided, an ATP 250 that is yet to be decided. 8th of March, we have the Qatar Open or the Doha Open which is played usually in January at the start of the year. It's going to be played now in March after the Australian Open and that ATP 250 event. That's also going to be played at the same week as Marseille, which is an indoor hardcore event that's usually played in February. That's been moved into March, an ATP 250 event, and also another clay court event that's usually played in February. It's going to be played now uh, in March. The Chile Open, which is a new event. It actually started last year, and it's a new event. They're going to have a second edition. It's going to be in March this time. And then on the 15th of March, we have Dubai and Acapulco, two big ATP 500 events, which are usually played in February. Djokovic is the defending champion of Dubai. We have Rafa as the defending champion of Acapulco. So they're big, big events. They're being moved now into March kind of where that well in that slot where Indian Wells have left for all these tournaments to be played usually it's played at the end of February now it's going to be played in the middle of March and then of course Miami which has been I have been told or have been reading that it could be played in another country so Miami might still go ahead but not might not be played in the United States so there you have it that is the tentative schedule that has been leaked out there we'll see what the ATP have come up with we don't have official word from the ATP what is going to be played in what position uh, there are a couple of tournaments there that have not been named again we're going to wait for that and also the ATP Cup it's been said that it's going to be played before the Australian Open that week before but we don't know how many teams are going to play you know we know it's played in Melbourne but how many teams? It was a big event last year with a lot of teams, a lot of countries. This year, are we just going to get 10 countries? Are we just going to get, you know, the top 10 guys playing? You know, Nadal, Djokovic, Federer, team, are they going to play? Is it going to be a small tournament, no round robins? I don't know. We'll find out. If we find out, we'll let you guys know. But let us know in the comments below. Do you like the new schedule? Do you like the fact that we're starting in America at the start of the year? And also in Turkey? 
bit of a, a strange way to start the year off. Usually we start off in at least the Middle East or maybe in Australia. We're starting in America this year. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the new schedule and do you think it's going to affect players that have to play those events and then come to Australia?